I decided to do another episode of Witcher Monster Lore today. And the reason I decided to do this is because I haven't done one in a little while and I thought, you know what, this creature in the witch universe really, really interests me. So I went to my usual sources for information on this creature, but it was very bare bones. So I actually did a bit more research into this creature than I normally would. I went into the game, did some quests with it, looked in the bestiary, looked on many different sources, had a look at what I could find in the books. There was nothing, by the way. <laughs> and I've gathered as much information on these creatures as I can or as I think there is. So, I've decided to make today's video on Leshens. Now, you'll probably know this creature because, well, you encounter a few in the Witcher 3 game. They're generally worshipped as almost gods to a lot of the simple townsfolk, but as you know, as a Witcher, they are monsters. But monsters with a little bit of a different sort of aspect about them. They're as much a monster as a wolf is. They're just an animal with instincts. So to begin with, there's some basic information on these creatures I want to go into. So, first of all, they dwell in dense primeval woods, and what this effectively means is that these monsters they they would only live in a woodland area they don't they wouldn't live in like say I don't know a mountain or a field or something they would just they like living in forests and the reason they do this is because they have quite a strong connection to animals you know if you look at their bodies they appear to be almost made out of wood you know they look as if they're actually from forests it's an interesting creature definitely and what it means by primeval woods is these creatures are ancient and they like to live in ancient woods you know say if, for example humans went and grew their own wood somewhere Alesha might move there but they'd much rather go into an old wood, you know, this, this has history. So as we know from the games, these creatures are fiercely territorial. If you've played The Witcher 3, you'll know that every time you encounter a Leshen, apart from the couple occasions where you save one, they attack you, without that much provocation. For example, I did a quest a while ago, and I think it was called the Woodland Spirit or something like that, I can't remember, and you find this car, and the Leshen has killed every one of them. And, you know, they just, they're very territorial. If something enters their territory, it will probably die, unless it's a witcher. Another fact about these creatures is the way in which they hunt. Because just like any animal, they want to hunt stuff, they've got to eat, they've got to kill. You know, that's it's just natural instincts. So they do this by using stealth and cunning. Generally, they'll use the environment around them to kill. They don't actually have to appear at all to do what they want, because they have this inborn magical ability to be able to control plants and animals in their vicinity. So you'll have experienced this in The Witcher 3. For example, when you're fighting a Leshen, you can see it thrusts its arms into the ground and summons roots that can attack you. This is it basically using its magic to communicate with the roots of the trees and summon them to then fight. Which means that if you weren't a witcher, say, it could just summon a wolf to rip you to pieces. And we also know that it can use its magical abilities with animals. For example, it can turn into a horde of crows. It basically summons crows and uses them as kind of a... I suppose you could say it's a, like a, a guise, so it can't just be attacked while it's uh, teleporting, I suppose you could call it. And it's quite funny, actually, because generally with fighting lessons, half the battle is actually being able to reach them. Because of the fact that they use their environment in such a clever way, you know, they'll uproot massive roots to protect themselves or they'll kill you with animals, you know. You have to get through all of that to even fight the Leshen, which in itself is a very difficult enemy to kill anyway. Well, unless you're a witcher and you have the ability to summon fire. <laughs> so, Leshens go under the category of relics, or ancient creatures. And that's because that they don't have a classification. You know, for example, a higher vampire will obviously be a vampire, or a bruxer will obviously be a vampire, but Leshens are Leshens. There is no subspecies that they're part of, at least not that we know of. There could be from a different world, there could be loads of different types of Leshens. There are different Leshens within the Leshen sort of term, but there's not many. You know, it's basically the same thing, just some are slightly better than others. It's like drastically different to say vampires. So, what features do these creatures possess? I imagine you already know, because you've actually seen them, but just as a basic description, if you look at them, they have basically a big deer skull head with massive antlers. It's quite a cool design from CD Projekt Red's part. It does make them look like tribal sort of gods which I think was definitely the intention they were going for. So, it, it's certainly an interesting one. They also have tree-like limbs, which is something I mentioned earlier, and that's just because of their connection to nature, I suppose you could say. You have different creatures in the Witcher universe that have different powers, but these creatures are... It's effectively if a tree came to life and had a baby with a deer. <laughs> so that's the basics of Alessian Covered. Now I want to go over the game information. And all the information I have before is obviously from the game, but I mean I want to go into the more technical side of it. So, what do these creatures drop? What happens when you fight them? What will you expect if you encounter one of these creatures? So first of all, you have a chance of a few drops when you fight a Leshen, and this is Leshen Resin, Ancient Leshen Mutagens, Fiber, Timber, Leshen Mutagens, Infused Shards, Hardened Timber, 
and monster bones. So this basically confirms, at least from a game point of view, that these creatures are monsters, just because of the fact they drop monster bones, which the name in itself implies what it is, and if it has the same sort of chemical makeup as say a monster bone from a drowner, then surely that it goes under the same bracket of monster. So when you're fighting these creatures, they're actually very, very slow. I mean, they can teleport, etc., which sort of implies that they're fast, but as a creature, when they're actually going to hit you, they're very slow movers. But generally with slow movers, they're very, very hard hitters. It's almost like, maybe not quite as strong, but imagine you had the force of a bus, but at half the speed sort of thing. That's effectively a lesson. So, when fighting these creatures also, as I mentioned earlier, they have the ability to turn into a horde of crows, and it basically allows them to teleport around. So, the way that they do this is they basically, they use their magic to teleport, but they also call for a horde of crows to assist them, using their own magic. If you want to fight one of these creatures, much like the hunters in Halo, the best place to hit them is in the back, as that's where they're most vulnerable. So an interesting thing that Leshens actually do is they form links with people. And what that means is they basically, they use their magic to kind of attach themselves to a person and they use that person to maintain influence in the place that they live. You see this in a lot of Witcher quests. So what happens is if you kill that person, which in The Witcher 3 you, you will see, the Leshen is actually permanently banished from where it's from from where it's, you know, sat. And that's a way to permanently get rid of them. And another thing to watch out for when fighting these creatures is that if you see a Leshen thrust its arms into the ground, you move out of the way. You try and get behind it because it's about to summon a bunch of roots to rip you to pieces. So Leshens are also vulnerable to fire. So you can imagine this is just because of the fact that it's basically a tree with a deer head. So if you use fire, you can burn it and you can deal a lot more damage. And it actually immobilizes it so it can't do anything while it's on fire, which is quite a cool little thing to do. The oil you would use against this creature is obviously relic oil as that's the bracket it goes under and another very useful piece of equipment to use against it is dimerutium bombs as it stops it being able to use the magic that i mentioned earlier where it communicates with nature and uses it as a way to fight you so to end this video i want to go over a little piece of information about lessons that's actually from the official witcher 3 site so allow me to read this for you guys humans have long been fascinated by the wild wood living in its vicinity was the source of tales about creatures ferocious and benign friendly and hostile as they started to settle deeper and deeper into the forests, respect for the unknown diminished. Lumber was gathered, stone abodes were built. As the pestilence that was humanity grew bigger, so did the forests and its inhabitants' wrath. At the heart of the forest lies a secret. In a place born of darkness and primeval nature resides a mighty and terrifying guardian. Immune to human steel, it is believed the Leshen is nature's way of protecting the forests and the animals that live within it. From a threat, humans started to pose upon their ravaging expansion deeper into the lands. Along with the animals it commands, the Leshen became a force to be reckoned with. Sometimes worshipped, this creature can heal other woodland animals and summon neckers or crows to protect the forest. Its attacks are slow but deadly. Be cautious not to get shackled by its underground roots. So I hope you've all learnt something new today about Leshens and these really, really interesting creatures in the Witch universe. They're very mysterious and they like to stalk their prey as you see in The Witcher 3. It's very, very interesting. It's almost like if you had gone to Odim, took away a lot of his power and turned him into a big tree monster. <laughs> you know, it's it's the same thing where he follows you around and stalks you a bit before he, you know, goes in for the kill. Whereas a Leshen will be actual physical violence and Gontrol will be, hey, I've got a, I've got a deal for you. So anyway, that's the end of today's video. Thank you all for watching. As always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly, I appreciate it so much. You help with these videos a lot. You know, if I ever get a comment that's a bit like, oh, fuck you, Witcher George, or something like that. When I when I think about the people that donate and you guys are awesome, it really, it really puts a smile on my face. And obviously the nice comments do too. But anyway, thank you everybody. Have an awesome week and I'll see you in the next video.